letter reading. We're going to hop right into it because we don't got no time to waste. Today, we're going to be figuring out some things that we can do, you know what I'm saying, to help you, I would say, speed up your progress. I'm not sure what the title is going to be, but this is going to be things that kind of help you speed up your progress. You know what I'm saying? If you're not seeing the results you want to see and, you know, you probably plateauing and stuff, these things are going to help you guys kind of, I would say, catapult forward, you know what I'm saying? Get, get past some blockages and stuff. So, let's stop wasting time and hop right into the car selection. All right, you guys, so today we only got two pals, okay? So I want you guys to, to choose from either this left pal or this right pal, okay? So I'm gonna let you guys choose right now. All right, you guys, so if you have chosen from this right pal today, this is gonna be your reading for today, and it's gonna be some things that you can do, I would say, to speed up your results so you can see progress a lot faster, man. Because we ain't trying to just be sitting at the same body, you know what I'm saying, body type all day for about seven years and stuff. We ain't trying to be looking the same. We want to make some gains or at least cut down on some fat or like whatever. So let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Ooh, y'all got the bulk of the cards. Okay. So y'all got like, what is that? Four, five, six. Y'all got seven cards. So today might be y'all lucky day or y'all lucky week. Who knows? Because we don't do these every single day. We only do these weekly. So this is going to be a lucky week for y'all because y'all got seven cards. Don't tell pal too, because they might get jealous, okay? So, let's hop right into the first card. Be careful on your eccentric and concentric phases, okay? So, obviously, you guys, um, one thing that will probably help you guys, and y'all probably heard, heard this message over and over again, so this is, that means that you really need, need to tune into this, okay? So, because um, one of the things that's going to help you guys get better results is actually following through with the weight whenever you're lifting it Rem remember you guys time under tension that's what helps you get that hypertrophy that's what helps the muscle expand and get big and juicy and also also what a lot of people don't know is like like the longer that you're in that set and like you're working the muscle the more calories you burn too so you get a lot more out of your workout if you control your eccentric and concentric phases also on top of that you can avoid so much more injuries and make sure you stay healthy throughout, you know what I'm saying, your whole listening career, actually. But let's hop into your next card, which is going to be a gym tip. Eat correctly to avoid. Okay, so um, are you guys dieting? Now, don't lie to me, man, because I see right through you. If you're not eating healthy, if you're not dieting, or if you're not sticking to your diet, you're not going to see the results that you want to see, okay? I can't stress this en enough. Like you, like, you can't cheat on your diet. Unless it's it's like a scheduled cheat meal or cheat day. Because anything outside of what your coach is giving you or what you plan for yourself is going to ruin everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. Okay? Now, I'm not saying that you have to be like a freaking contest prep bodybuilder and track every single macro. But y'all know what I mean. Like, y'all out there that be eating them extra cookies and stuff like that. Knowing dang well, you don't supposed to be eating that. Now... I'm not saying that like you're having like a like a scheduled cheat meal and you've thought about this and then you know that this is gonna what's gonna help you like cut some cravings and all. I'm talking about every night you going to go eat a Hershey bar or something like that, or a little Tootsie Roll and stuff. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Drinking, drinking on that orange juice, knowing you're not supposed to be drinking that orange juice. Hey, stop. Stop doing that. You need to stick to your diet, okay? And if any of my clients are watching this, I'm telling you that too. You need to stick to your freaking diet, all right? But um, definitely you guys, because that's one of the main things that can actually halt like all your pro like all your progress. Like if you if, if you're not uh, if you're not dieting correctly, like you're gonna see your results go like this and this. And if you diet correctly, you're gonna see your results go like this, and all the way up until you achieve something you didn't know that you can even achieve. Okay, so believe me, diet is like. Now, keep in mind, you're not going to be 100% on your, on your diet, but y'all know what I mean, man, because y'all, I'm not like them, them other YouTubers, y'all can't come at me like, like, like I'm that, because y'all already know what I mean, like, y'all know exactly what I mean by staying on your, on your diet, okay, we, we're not going to be doing none, none of that spamming and complaining and stuff, no, y'all know exactly what I mean, leg day, okay, leg day, so, Training legs, you guys, is probably one of the things that can help you, you know what I'm saying, get past a couple of your plateaus. So maybe if, um, I don't know, maybe if you have like a weight goal you wanted to reach or something, and if this card doesn't uh, apply to you, then just listen through, okay? 
But if you were trying to reach a certain weight, I would say looking at training legs is a lot more because your legs is a big muscle, okay? Well, not just one muscle, but they contain a lot of muscles, okay? So by actually training your legs and getting those a lot bigger, you can actually gain weight a lot faster than just training legs. I mean, by just training arms and like chest because these are big muscles, but they're not as big as like these big old legs down here. Like if you can get some big old legs, that can, you know what I'm saying, add on a lot of weight. Now for my competitors out there, keep that in mind too. Y'all re reverse psychology, re reverse engineer what I just said to y'all know what I mean. I don't want to go too much in, in, into that, but yeah. Also, um, shoulders, calves, and abdominals. Okay. So if you're trying to get that like chiseled physique, like looking like a superhero, you guys, these are a couple of things that you need to make sure you train. And actually I've been slacking on training abs, but I need, I need to train abs more too. But shoulder, calves, and abdominals, you definitely need to train because that's what helps make your physique pop. Like, like when people see them shoulders just bulging and them calves looking all juicy, and then they see the abs, they're like, oh man, who's this dude? Like, you can have small arms and have them things popping, and people won't even realize it because you're just gonna look so complete. Because these are mo these are most of the things that people actually lack. So if you got these, you look superior to everybody else, okay? Like, literally, you could be the most skinniest dude on earth and have abs and man, people think that you work out. Like, no, dude, you do not work out. You're small. And if you were to stand next to me, you would look for 900 pounds. <laughs> but, but, yeah. Um, anyways, you're great. Now, okay, 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 okay. This one says you're great. Now, express it. So, obviously, this is more of a, a motivational card. So, one of the things that will help you, you know what I'm saying, boost your results is actually having more confidence in what you're already doing and knowing that you already came so far. And maybe this plateau isn't even really a plateau. Maybe it's just part of your, you know what I'm saying, journey. And you got to keep on working. So express that greatness that you have and feel good about the, the results that you already have. Like, I know I need to do do that a lot more too. It's like, we, we've already came so far. So let's just be grateful for the results that we have. You know what I'm saying? Don't be too hard on our bodies and just, you know what I'm saying? Do what we got to do. Stick to your diet, though. That'll, that'll make so much things better. There is no fear. You're only gross. Okay, so, yeah, this goes into, like, what I was saying with, with the last card. Like, remember that just because you're not making, like, freaking newbie gains no more, it doesn't mean that you're not still making gains, okay? And just be grateful for what you do have. And if you didn't reach that certain goal, just be grateful that you probably even came close to it or even was able to gain anyway and you didn't go backwards because the worst thing you want to do is go backwards so even if you're stuck at, a, at like a certain weight or at a certain look always be grateful that you're not degrading because there's people that are degrading and yeah anyways chest day chest day so obviously training your chest will help you look a lot bigger i don't want to go in too much into that so you guys, for your last card, is going to be chest day. So make sure you're doing your bench and all that stuff. And that's going to be it for you guys. I hope that you really enjoyed y'all freaking pile. You know what I'm saying? We got pretty lit. I think I got a little bit too pressed over diet because I can't stress this, I can't stress this enough, man. Like, y'all have to diet, bro. You have to diet. And I'm, and I'm not saying, like, eat chicken and broccoli every single day. What I mean by diet is, like, have a certain macro or way and style of eating that, that you have to do to achieve your goal and stick to it. You can't be, be bouncing around and like, it's just not gonna work, okay? Like like me, for example, I'm bulking up. So I know the, the like, um, I wanna have like extra cheap um, meals and stuff. Like maybe I wanna have some pizza or Chinese food. I will leave calories open for that. Or um, I will set it up on a high carb day to where I would eat that, okay? But yeah, I don't want to go too much into what I do because y'all got to pay for that. So hit me up for my personal training down below. That's going to be down there. And I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Keep making them canine. Dang. Yo, what's up, pal two? So I got you guys cards right here. Pal one got me lit. I was, I was, I, I would say I was a little bit woozy at the, at the beginning, but I'm up now. I'm, woof, I'm ready to go. So y'all, y'all got to have a really good reading now. Y'all got a lot less cards, though. They had seven cards. Y'all only got five, which is okay. So, we're going to hop right into it. We're going to hop right into it. Let's see what y'all got. Age doesn't mean all oh, man. All oh, man. So, I already know what group this is. These are my boys. 
So these are either my younger, younger, younger people, like teens, or these are my older, older, older people. So these are probably my people that are in like their 40 plus, okay? And now if that isn't you, skip past, no, go to the first one. Go to power one, because that's for you, for you. If you're not 17 and, be and below, or 40 and above, this isn't your power. Now, if you are those, this is your right power. So you're right on spot, okay? So let's start right into it. Let's start right into it. You good, like, man, you good, bro. You good, bro. Meaning that one thing that would help you, you know what I'm saying, make a lot more results going forward is knowing that you're already, I, would, I don't want to say you're you're good where you're at because you obviously want to Im improve, but don't be too hard because especially if you're an older person, know that you like you're perfect already in a in a sense so you don't have to be like the man okay so you're good just take the take the process slower because you're probably older no you're not probably older because i told everybody else to, to go away so you are older or you're probably really young so just trust the, the process things are going to be a little bit different you know what i'm saying so just know just, just know that you're good okay now, when it comes to actual health, uh, now, this, now this is aside from looks, it doesn't matter your age or nothing. You, you, you need to be 100% stressing that to the max T. You need to be healthy, okay? That's a whole different story than when it comes to, to looks. You have to be healthy. Now, let's see what your gym tips are. Slow down in between sets and longer rest. Okay, so yeah, it, this is obviously made for y'all pal because for older people and for younger people, Usually the younger people, they like to, you know what I'm saying, be hitting supersets back to back. And I had that problem too, but lately I've been incorporating even more rest because we need to have rest. And even from an older people, you need to have rest and you need to slow down in between your workouts. Okay, so, and that's why a lot of, a lot, like a lot of people, they can't even finish your workout because they weren't having long enough rest periods because they, because they can do it but they're not resting their body properly to be able to perform the actual workout. So for an example, if I give a 40 year old man a workout plan and tell him to, to do like 20 push-ups, right? And then 20 burpees. You you can't just do the 20 push-ups, wait 10 seconds and then do 20 burpees. Like, no, this isn't high school football where the coaches don't even really be knowing what they were talking about anyways, but I'm not even gonna get into that. But you, you can't just be back to back like that. You have to give yourself a good amount of rest so that way, your body will be not fatigued going into the next workout. Working out is nowhere the way that you think it is. Because a lot of people think that working out is so simple. And it's like, once you actually learn, like, what working out is and stuff, like, things are just going to be so much different, okay? So, slow down and have longer rest, okay? Muscle group, back day, back day, back day. So, one thing that'll help you, you guys see some major increases is by working on your back a lot more. So, Doing deadlifts and stuff like that, it can benefit you in so many ways. Now, if you're a bodybuilder, like like now, I mean like somebody that wants to be a bodybuilder, I wouldn't say deadlifts. I would say like bend over rows because that's what I do because it's kind of the same thing, but it gives you that power. And like it also activates a lot of different muscle fibers and stuff like that at, at one time. So just by adding in like some type of heavy back lift or um, compound movement for your back, can definitely help you skyrocket and, you know, smash past some plateaus. Now, inspiration card. You're amazing and it will be shredded. So, if you're an older person or a younger person and you have been trying to, to lose weight, just stay doing what you're doing or be more motivated and confident in what you're doing because you will lose that weight. Um, that doesn't mean to not still get more inf inf information and try to improve your knowledge and stuff like that. But what I am saying is, what you're doing is working. So congratulations, all right. And if you're doing is not, and what you're doing in, man, I cannot. What is wrong with my speech today? Um. Okay. So if what you're doing is not working, then I would suggest watching some of my videos because I can help you out with that, all right. But that's gonna be the, you know, what I'm saying the rest of you guys' cards today. Hope you guys really enjoyed that. Make sure you like and subscribe and keep making them canine. Dang. I'm smoking on grapes. I put on for my seat. There's no way you can hang. And the money so sweet, I be calling it K. With the emperor status, they screaming K9. They be knocking my hustle, I stay on my ground.